দীর্ঘ তিন বছর পর মেদিনীপুর বিদ্যাসাগর বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ে অনুষ্ঠিত হল সমাবর্তন অনুষ্ঠান মঙ্গলবার রাজ্যের রাজ্যপালের উপস্থিতিতে বিদ্যাসাগর বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের বিবেকানন্দ সভাগৃহে অনুষ্ঠিত হল বাইশ নম সমাবর্তন অনুষ্ঠান রাজ্যপাল ছাড়াও এই অনুষ্ঠানে উপস্থিত ছিলেন বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের উপাচার্য অধ্যাপক সুশান্ত কুমার চক্রবর্তী রেজিস্ট্রার জয়ন্ত কিশোর নন্দী সহ বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের বিভিন্ন বিভাগে ডিন ও অধ্যাপক অধ্যাপিকা ও ছাত্রছাত্রীরা এই দিন তিনজনকে ডিলিট তিনশো ছাব্বিশ জনকে পিএইচডির সার্টিফিকেট দেওয়া হয় এছাড়াও বিভিন্ন বিভাগের স্নাতক ও স্নাতকোত্তর ডিগ্রি প্রদান করা হয় এই দিন শেষে বিদ্যাসাগর বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় প্রাঙ্গণে বীর বিপ্লবী শহীদ ক্ষুদিরাম বসুর আবক্ষ মূর্তি উন্মোচন করেন রাজ্যপাল সি বি আনন্দ First it is born in your mind, then it is born in the field. Mind is its own place. That is why Lord Welton says, the mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell or a hell of heaven. Yes, the mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell or a hell of heaven. Look at the revolutions that are taking place in the world. Be it the French Revolution, the Russian Revolution, or the greatest of the great revolutions in India's freedom struggle. Everything was born as an idea with the mind of one man or a group of men. Then it became a participatory interaction. We need action, not an early people in action. Look at the great painters. Yes, Michelangelo. Before he placed brush in paint, before painting Sistine Chapel, yes. The great frescoes, the painting of Sistine Chapel, they are the judgment. He had a vision of what heaven and hell will be. He had a vision of what the face of God and the face of man will be. He had a vision of what the universe will be. Even in the Bible they said, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Everything starts as an idea in your mind. And universities are ideas in the workshop. The credits of ideas, that is what a university is expected to be. And take the relation for instance, say, all great men who are there, when they say, hi, my great men, please don't come. We are not attained by sudden flight. They, while their companions were uh, toiling upward in the night. Yes, education is 90% inspiration and 10% perspiration. Yes, that is what education is. That is what education should be. You have to condition the mind. The mind, the mind is its own place. I in itself can make a heaven of hell or a hell of heaven. What's the structural difference between mind and matter? I think with so many awards and accolades which I was listening to in the report of the Vice Chancellor, there are so many scientists who have been awarded the world across from this university and there have been many publications which have been important and by various international journals. These are all great achievements which you have but we should not forget that you know everything The root of everything is the mind. The mind which can perceive a mind. When the mind decides on something, the transformation is something. What the Nobel laureate W.B. is in his poem, Easter 1960. He speaks about all change. Change utterly. A terrible beauty is born. Beauty cannot be terrible, you know. But when young man's mind gets ignited and there's a transformation, metamorphosis, Then what happens? All change, change utterly, a terrible beauty is born. That is what I see on the face of the ancestors of here, a terrible beauty is born. That is a beauty which India is cherishing. If Alkanal Parpara is to become a reality, it is to become a reality. We need Alkanal Parpara Bengal, we need Alkanal Parpara campuses. Yes, it is from here that the change takes place. And as Nelson Mandela said, Education is the most powerful weapon to make changes in the world. I see before me, the youngsters who are getting degrees and postdoctoral degrees, they are not just individuals, they are the game changers. They are going to change the entire nation, the entire future. We all look up to you. You are all 
I would say you are all pushed into the crocodile lake. Yes, that was the explanation. The Masai Mara in Africa. I also had the opportunity to go there. You can see all wild elephants near at hand. You can see the strange sight of a lion of family. Why is this thing the lion of deer? Still nothing happens. The twice is the man and nature is very much there. There, the most important attraction is the crocodile lake. In a crocodile in a lake, hundreds of crocodiles are there. It's a very risky to go there. But most youngsters go there. In a boat you go, of course there are guys. Once the vice chancellor took his students and went for a discussion in this lake. So many boats were together. The families of the teachers were also there. All mud and merriment, dance and music. But as the procession of boats were going on, the young baby fell in the lake from the hands of the mother. She started bathing because his crocodile infested lake. Suddenly they saw the registrar jumping in the lake. The child somehow got rid of him. The crocodiles were chasing him. The razor swings across. Crocodiles lose. The razor wins. With the young child, the razor is on the back. Everybody complimented him for his courage. But the registrar was heard saying, Tell me who pushed me into the lake. So we are all pushed into the lake, in the lake of life. We have to swim. We have to swim. We have to register our superiority over our enemies. Yes, we have to swim, we have to win. This degree which is given to you is actually they are pushing you into the crocodile lake. In the lake of life, you are all pushed in. You have to swim, you have to win. Yes, tomorrow the brushwoods and pastures in you. I do not want to continue my speech here. I think I have exceeded the limit. Normally, when I see students, because I was also a teacher, so when I see students, I feel like asking questions. Teachers only have to ask questions, they don't have to answer. That's a very clever way of uh, creating a profession like that. Sir, when the, all, all the university will get a full time visitor? Very soon, as you know, the apex court of this country, the Supreme Court has been appraised to the matter. The Supreme Court will take a decision soon. All universities will be getting full time vice chancellors as soon as possible.